What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, pretty hyped for today's video because we're going to be installing a new radio in the Corvette. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Been using just the good old FM transmitter and uh, it's getting old. So I figured I'd pull the trigger on uh, getting a uh, radio. So let me show you what I got. So what we got here is, looks like it's the Boss Elite. Um, it's the BE 10 ACP dash C, which is the one that comes with the F with the uh, backup camera as well. Also looks like you get this bracket that comes with it as well. Also, we have this vehicle integration interface. I believe it's like a module of some sort, uh, radio interfaces. Also for the steering wheel controls, but Corvette doesn't have any steering wheel controls, so that won't, uh, won't be an issue for us to install or anything like that. Shows the applications on the back. And I believe this is our antenna that we got here. Plugs right in. Yep, vehicle antenna adapter right there. Now it's time to get her open and see what we got inside. All right, so I'm actually just gonna open this up because I'm not 100% sure exactly what this is. Oh, okay, so it's part of the, it's part of the, um, the wiring harness. That's what it is. And then yeah, there's a module in here as well. That's probably more for bows and then non bows and then steering wheel controls, I believe, as well in here. So there's that. And then what we got here. All right, so there's our backup camera right here. It's gonna be awesome to have on the Corvette. Um, more uh, more wiring stuff it looks like even a speaker or a, a microphone right here and then yeah some more more stuff for wiring uh, user manual and let's see here. We're, getting, we're getting to the good stuff now oh. this is the screen for it this is a 10.1 inch screen I ordered all this stuff off of Crutchfield I forgot to even mention that Right off the crutch field, uh, you can put your car information in, and uh, it'll show you all the all the stuff that that'll work with your car. And this will work uh, pretty good with the Corvette. This is a single DIN; it's not a double DIN. Uh, but you get the 10, 10 point one inch screen, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty pretty sweet. And then what's down at the bottom is just this is just a single DIN. Um, radio part of it so it's kind of hard to see but this is where the screen is going to go in this is actually the screen is fully detachable so if i ever park it somewhere and i want to take the screen with i can um, and then this part will stay in the car obviously and then we got more wiring this is uh apple car and android android audio auto android auto uh as well and um, so yeah, it does all that, um, and it's gonna be a lot better. Uh, it's gonna be a lot better than uh, the radio that's in the Corvette. It's just really dated. It's from 2006, um, and uh, technology has just came so far from from 2006. So it's time to uh, get the upgrade on the Corvette, and uh, it should make life a lot easier. So, all right, guys. First things first. I gotta take all this out so that way we can get at the radio so first things first i'm gonna have to take the these screws out here it's kind of hard to see there's some screws right here and then this piece right here take this out and i believe there's two two screws right here that you got to take out and then uh, i gotta disconnect the traction control the hazards and then I think there's a couple more screws um, along the way as well. And then this e-brake piece has to come up, which isn't that hard. You just pull up on this and there's just a little clip that helps. And then we have to get this panel right here taken out, which is also pretty easy. You just kind of pull up on it and it'll come out. So time to get to it.
All right, guys, this is what I was talking about. You pop this cover off right here, and then there's two seven meter, seven millimeter bolts. You gotta take off right here. And uh, yeah, you just pop this top off, and then it's right there. But not all, not all of them are like this design. So if you have this design, that's how you do it. Here's the new one. Kind of showed you guys already. It's a single din, but because of the floating screen, it'll it'll look a lot better once it's installed. Back here we have USB charging. And this is if you want to run a front camera. If you want to run a front camera, you can. Uh, this is the rear camera. Input. And then there's the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. 